the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 lens. Finally, another third party lens for the RF mount. This is an autofocus lens and it has a solid and impressive build quality from bottom to top. Also, it comes with a lens cap. It's priced at around $399 or £340 and as you can see, certainly looks the part. Time to get hands on now and test it out. But first, let's start with an all important morning coffee. Today is a real world review of this lens, which means I'll be taking photos with it, which you can see throughout the video. And then I'll tell you how it performs in all the important areas like autofocus, picture quality, sharpness, and so on. Today, we're in the forest of fairies. This is a real place, you know, that families go and take their children, uh, but you'll have to wait and see if there are any fairies. Viltrox have kindly sent me the lens out to try, and they've said, give an honest review. And that's what you can expect from the video today. All photos today are straight from the camera with no editing. That's the way I like to do it in these reviews so that you can see the base performance without any enhancements. First thing I'm noticing with this lens is it's got good autofocus. It reacts quickly and it's got very minor hunting, which is almost unnoticeable. Now it snaps to the point I want it to quickly. Now this is one of the worries of mine to begin with because I've had some questionable experiences with autofocus from cheaper lenses, but so far this is great. I'm gonna test this out at f1.8, which is its lowest aperture in just a minute with a few sneaky portraits. But it does seem that fairies do live here after all, because here is one of their doors. Okay. Let's spring a few portraits on the wife using the Canon R6 eye autofocus and shooting at f1.8. This lens is actually doing a beautiful job of separating the subject from the background. And it looks plenty sharp, especially in the center at its lowest aperture. All the time it's effortlessly locking on to her eye. Okay, so she's decided to hide from me now after those photos, but I know where she's hiding. Gotcha. Now it's not every day you see a dolphin made up of plastic rubbish tied to a tree, but this is very symbolic of the terrible way that our seas are being polluted with plastic and the killing of the planet's marine life. Okay, so on a more positive note, the lens has a very pleasing look straight from the camera. Now it seems my boy has found more evidence that this woodland is populated with fairy homes. This lens is really nice and sharp and I'm a bit surprised by its performance so far. There is a few things though that I would have liked to have seen on this lens. The first thing is the minimum focus distance. It's a bit far at 80 centimeters, which means it won't be a very good choice for close up work. Also, this lens doesn't have image stabilization. It's expected at this price point, but unless you've got an IBIS in your camera, this may be a bit of an issue for some people. What a pleasant surprise. We've discovered some pigs and one of them has taken a real liking to my boy. Using this lens, I've noticed that f5.6 through to f11 is by far the sharpest apertures, but the low apertures such as f1.8 and f2.8 still offer great center sharpness. Also, you can expect some noticeable vignetting too, but all of these things are rarely noticed unless you're really looking for them. I've been really pleasantly surprised by this Filtrox 85mm f1.8 RF mount lens. It's got good autofocus, good image quality, good sharpness, good bokeh, and a good price. In my opinion, it's a good choice for any Canon R series owner on a bit more of a budget. If you want to see how the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 performs, check out this video here, and please like and subscribe to the channel to watch more photography, filmmaking, and editing videos. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video.